Good morning and welcome to the prayer porch. Those of you who are just joining us, prayer porch is just a place that I come in the mornings and I just write his word on my heart. And this summer, God just led me to open that up to everyone who cares to come on board, wants to watch with us, and just take his word and write it on your heart and process it a little bit. So I come to you today and I just, Lord, I love you. I thank you and I thank you for your joy. That joy unspeakable, joy bubbling over, just, I thrive in your joy. And I thank you for that. It's that joy that gets me through the hard times. It's that joy that bubbles me over with energy on the good times. And that joy that I just embrace. I embrace. And I pray, Lord, that that joy be contagious. That people see that joy and it draws people to you. In a time where people seek joy, they seek happiness, they, you peel that off, you peel off all that tears us down, all that burdens us, and you fill it with your joy. And I thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. I, um, I, if you haven't figured out, all morning, God has just put on my heart. I woke up, this was another one of those mornings where I've been up since about three o'clock, and God has just been... He's just been talking to my soul. He's been just ministering and sharing. And it's like, I just thought, okay, I need to put this up. And I close my eyes and another verse comes to my heart. And I started relishing and felt thrilled in that. And if it wasn't for my husband sleeping beside me, I just wanted to break out singing. I just wanted to lift his name and just praise, praise, praise. Because everything that since three o'clock this morning, everyone that I have laid before the Father, he has turned around and showed me a blessing that's coming from it. And I'm like, God, you're amazing to me. That which the devil intends for evil, you turn to good. That which brings sorrow, you bring blessing. And then of all things, I came down, and I didn't even catch this yesterday. Well, actually, I caught, didn't catch it while I was on the prayer porch. I caught it when I was washing my cup up before I go to work. But yesterday, I started talking about joy. And it turns out my coffee cup is be joyful. <laughs> and so I just had to get that same cup this morning. I washed it up last night and or yesterday morning after I washed it and I had uh, sat it there to dry. And I was like, this morning, I want that cup. I just, I knew before I came downstairs, I want my joyful cup because I just feel like I am bubbling over, bubbling over with his joy. And that just delights my soul, delights my soul. So just how God works. I come down, I pull up my spurs for the day, and if you have a Bible, the Bible up and you look, you won't believe this. Here you go. Are you ready? You're right. Today's verse is about joy. It's about joy, and it's about celebrating Him, and celebrating Him while we're in the season that is set aside to celebrate Him. And even though it started from um, a, a discussion with a wonderful lady, that new friend that I had met, and she was asking me about, oh, is it, is it right to celebrate Christmas when it's based on a, on a pagan holiday and all that? And that's a prerogative that you need to think through. But for me, I just think every day, if you take the name Christ Mass, it's celebrating Christ. And that's what our day should be every day of our life. Every day of our life should be a Christ Mass. It should be a celebration of Him of him and us. And that's what this prayer porch is kind of all about, is celebrating him in every day, in our everyday moments. So when I come to our Bible app, I come to the scripture and I come to that the Bible app scripture today was Psalms 47. Are you ready for this? It says, come everyone, clap your hands and shout to God with joyful praise. For the Lord Most High is, and I love this version, it says, he's awesome. He is awesome. He awesome means he's bigger than words. He is the great king of all the earth. Here we go again. Joy to the world. The Lord has come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare room because he wants to come in. He wants to dwell with you. And then 
the verse that God had just bubbled in my soul all night long and just throughout the morning and when I came down, it's just a couple chapters behind that. And it's awesome because it's in um, Psalms chapter 30. And it tells us, you turned my mourning into joyful dancing. Now, I've got to laugh here for a minute. This is mourning, like sorrow mourning. But for my kids who are not mourning people, who is why I'm trying to talk a little bit lower because everyone's still sleeping in my house because they're all out of school and I'm not yet. They, um, they would consider this, if you are joyful in the M-O-R-N-I-N-G, then it's definitely a God thing. And I am joyful here in the morning, so it is a God thing. But in this particular verse, those of you who are struggling with sadness right now, you have turned my mourning into joyful dancing. You have taken away my clothes of mourning and you have clothed me with joy that I might sing praises to you and not be silent. Oh Lord, my God, I give you thanks forever. He's turned our mourning into dancing. He has fueled our sorrow with joy. Joy and happiness. Happiness and joy are two different things. Happiness is a expression. Joy just the joy is from within. Joy is from within. When we share his joy, we see happiness around us. Ah, joyful, joyful, we adore thee. God of heaven, God of earth. He's so faithful. I pray for you today, the joy of the Lord, and that you find the joy of the Lord to be your strength, and that you let that joy ignite you in this season, because he is our God, and he will turn your mourning into dancing, and your sorrow will be replaced with joy. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her king. Be joyful. Be joyful. Yes. Today is another day of joy. Let's spread that joy. If you don't have it to spread it, just ask him. He has it for you. That's his Christmas gift to you. His gift to you is joy because it says the joy of the Lord is our strength. So if you're feeling weak, ask him for his joy and you'll be amazed at the superhero things you'll be able to do spiritually. Have a great day. Walk in the joy of the Lord. And if it, just sing. This is the time you can sing it. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Sing it, you'll feel it. Just let yourself sing out loud. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow in the prayer board.